Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to episode. <laughs> I get it wrong. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to episode. I did it again. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode forty-five of the Lloyd and Matt Show. Yep, nearing half a century. Nailed it. Are we doing anything bougie for the episode fifty? Yeah, we'll wear suits. Yeah, and bucket hats. Should we? Should we have like a like a like a coarse meal? Like with butlers and stuff behind us. That would be quite funny, actually. For the pod? For the pod. Eat on the pod. Eat on the pod. Like I don't a, think anyone's ever eaten on the pod yet. Or it could be a mukbang. Yeah, I guess. It could, or just have like butlers behind us and stuff. Like we could just hire people for the day to just stand behind <laughs> us. <laughs> I don't think we'd speak the same as we normally do if someone stood behind us. Or Charlton. No, not like that. Oh, I mean, right. Like, <laughs> not like we'd change character. I'd be like, hi, Lloyd. Yeah, we'd be awkward, I reckon, if there was extras behind us. Oh, that reminds me. Um, What are you doing on Thursday? <laughs> trying to segment it. What are you doing on Thursday the We've 15th? been invited to the Dune Part 2 premiere. Uh, the first one was wicked, wicked. The, the premiere, not a screening. Yeah, not the screening. The premiere. Red carpet. I wonder who, who invited us? Um... I don't know. We should probably thank them. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, it's not happened yet. <coughs> True. Much. Timothy Chalamet is going to be there. Zendaya, Florence Pugh, Christopher Walken. I'm excited to see Christopher Walken. Josh, Br- Josh Brolin. I'm going to go up to Christopher Walken and say, I can see a dog. <laughs> Rebecca Ferguson. She was in our school. Wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's her name, isn't it? I think that was her name, yeah. No, but I mean, I think that's the actress's name. Oh. She's in Mission Impossible as well. But yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very excited. Do you know what I'm most excited about? What? A couple of things. One, to be suited and booted, dressed to the nines. Yep. Secondly, uh, like, you know when you're older, when you're like 50? Yeah. And you can, you take your whole family to Leicester Square, you can just literally be like, I got invited to... Red carpet, yeah, one of the biggest shit. films of 2024. Or if they do like another remake of it, mm. it could be like, oh, well, I went to the... I went to the premiere, baby. Yeah, that's nuts. It's going to be so scary. I, I don't think it will be that scary. Depends. Do you, are you going to ask for selfies? Yeah. Like you're going to stand over the barrier and do like... Yeah, I'd be like, guys, what's up? No, I had a a, uh, a vision whilst I was getting my hair cut. Yeah. So, you know, we have to go to a hotel before yeah where everyone is yeah and i in my head thought like they're they're putting people in cars to take the premiere and we got put in a car with tom holland and zen 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 zen. (laughs) and i was like why they're not gonna do that no but i just thought like that could happen it couldn't there's a there is zero percent no, chance there's not zero percent well if we're in the same area there's one percent chance. exactly and i'm hanging on to that for dear life and people might be like why do you say tom holland and zendaya are not timothy because he's not saying tom's in it he, it's because they're together because so they're together but, people might not have thought about that but but i was thinking like i was like oh like after talking or whatever for five minutes in the car i'd be like can i just get like a, a video but could i make it like the most awkward video ever so I'm like in the car and I'm like, we're in the back of a taxi and I'm like panning around and everyone's just sort of like, and I'm like, oh, so like, what do you do? And stuff like that for a funny video. That's, that and I was in the barber and I was like, <laughs> 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 I was like, let me class. I wouldn't want to bother them though. with like, let me film, let me take pictures. No, but I would say before, I think I'd, I'd say like, oh, can I just get like a five second video of us just being really awkward with each other? I think they'd be so on board with that. I think they're the type of people to be like, oh, that's that's quite funny, actually. Yeah. Because, no, what th- accent was that? What? Was that your normal accent? Yeah. Oh, you were like, that's quite funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I, I think go they're British. the type of people to be like, we're obviously well known and you guys aren't. So I think it'd be like, Awkward if uh, you're as in you're speaking as them, yeah. <laughs> That's not like you said, well, we're the well known, and you guys no, are obviously no, quite like, small, as, yeah. <laughs> No, I think they'd be on board with that. I think that's something they would do. They'd be like, "Yeah, that's funny." Maybe, but it's yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be one of those people that go up and be like, "Can I have a name to my man?" No, I'm just gonna let them do their business. I, I would. It would be nice to speak to them though. Imagine one. Imagine someone on the cast knows who we are. Yeah, that would be that bonkers. would be bizarre. I. No. Well, you say that. Someone I worked with did like posted reels. 
and like got a, a DM from Lil Easy, but just being like your videos are jokes. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so bizarre. And his videos were like not targeted to Lil Easy, but, but at all. But he loved them. Loved it. Fuck, what was I about to say? Was it about the film? Batista's in it. He was my childhood hero. Oh, yeah. The wrestler. He's not a wrestler anymore. He's an amazing film actor. He's gone from Batista bomb to... Box office <laughs> success. <laughs> yeah. Not box office bomb. Batista box office. It's going to be crazy. I think it'll be limbs. Are we gonna get, how drunk are you going to get? Well, I'm not really drinking much this year anyway. No, neither. I don't want to make a tip myself either. No, but then again, it's going to be free. So mm. I might have to make a tip on my son. <laughs> I'll, I'll see the cast on stage and I'll be like, boo. <laughs> Get booted out. You can't fall asleep. I won't, I won't. I, I, I don't know whether to bring my blue light glasses or will I just be like a little neek in the cinema? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think we'll sit next to? I don't know. I think they do the seat in like ahead of time. Because I, I, in my head, I thought it was like, uh, it's like almost like tables of two. I don't know about that. I thought it was like in a, I thought it was just a cinema. Mm, I don't know. I've like, I, I think all the chairs are like maxed out chairs. Like they're not just seats. They're like really over the top seats. Are they? With drinks and. Yeah. Where you can put like tables. Sick. That's why, like, I think my friend went to uh, one ages ago and um, yeah, it, I mean, I might be completely wrong, but that's how I imagined it. Like almost like a, a sofa. Mm. Like the two seats are like separate to everyone else's. I guess we'll find out. I hope we're sat next to each other. By the we way. will be. I imagine if we're next to like someone huge, I'll be so awkward. Like I was next to in. We were getting our pictures done for score for restore. Yeah. And I was sat. I was in a line with Pete Bock, and then Braveheart was there as well. Yeah. And I was just like, don't know what to say. No. I was like, I'm just not going to say anything. I love how he's called Braveheart. That's a film. Yeah, well, yeah, he looks exactly like... Does uh, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he had Mal his hair... Gibson? Yeah, he had his hair, like, the same style, or everything. And well, it's Scottish, Bra- isn't it? Yeah, it's Scottish. So. Have you seen Brave Up? No. Good film. Wait, is it Mal Gibson? Yeah, it's Mal Gibson's Brave Up. Yeah. Or is that Highlander? Oh. I'm thinking of Highlander. No, no, Braveheart's Mal Gibson, yeah, yeah. Are they both Mal Gibson? No, Highlander's not. Who's Hi- Highlander's the one where they live forever, right? They look very similar. Highlander's Christopher Lambert. Where they live forever. Yeah, something like that with Sean Connery. Yeah, that's a great film. Scottish swordsman. That is a great film. Yeah. So we were agony uncles. We were stepsisters. We were fun uncles. Now we're going to be the mothers from hell. No, we were the child minders. And now we're, now we're going to be the agony aunts. The agony aunts. For okay. the first time ever. Okay. We only did one we dilemma one. last week and it was... Uh, yeah, but that took us... F- it, it was the most embarrassing thing you did as a kid. Yeah, and that took us on a roller coaster. Down memory lane. <laughs> we we it did. It was good. We did. What would you do if your girlfriend you really like, brackets love, and can see the rest of your life with her, says she doesn't want to have kids? Oh. That's a big deal for me. That's a big deal for a lot of people. I would want kids i would have to take one for the team and get somebody else pregnant <laughs> <laughs> yeah what do you do if they don't want kids I, 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 is that the end of the relationship that probably would be i reckon i'd have to love this woman for the rest of my life but i would have to go separate ways yeah for sure i don't i really want some little mini me's yes yeah, what a army. full team full team yeah like are you gonna be the dad that starts like project Mbappe. yeah when they're really young i'm gonna be that guy i don't know what i want them to get into though surely football with all your knowledge as well i don't know it's so hard to make it in football though yeah but if you have you seen the kids nowadays oh my there's a there's like a a a football pitch in london Mm. where like all the kids that are being scouted from like chelsea Arsenal, all the london clubs they go and they just one-on-one each other and the skill from like seven year olds is outrageous. Yeah, footballs keep keeps getting better and better and better. I'm literally thinking like, if if a kid, a that kid who's like seven or eight or nine, yeah, he could play. I reckon in the 1930s, full men's football, professional, yeah, Definitely, yeah, 100. Well, because they're getting younger and younger. Like, uh, you mean Lamal was 15 when he played for Barcelona? Yeah, that's fucking nuts. So like, what is the lowest? Do you reckon we'll ever see like a 13 year old? Play for Barcelona. I'm pretty sure there's like 14 year olds that have played professional football in like France and stuff. 
I don't think I a think top club's youngest, ever played. I'm pretty sure the youngest Champions League footballer is 15. Yeah. Was that for like a random club though? Not a huge one. The youngest Premier well, League if footballer. if you're in the Champions League, that's a big club. No. Kind of. But like FC Sheriff get in there from like where Lichstein or wherever yeah, they're from. Yeah, but it's still relatable. Yeah. Relative. It's still sorry, a crazy relatable. achievement still, as well. Yeah. But well, I mean like <clears throat> the Premier League's youngest ever player is probably no longer Rooney. I don't know who it is now. Oh. But they're like 16. Yeah. Jude was like 16. Yeah. In the championship. In the champions. Yeah. So they're just yeah, getting wonder, better and better as a kid. But like all these footballers, mm. they're like they're like nine. And I'm literally thinking like you could... Do anything you, you want. You could do anything. If you were taller... Right now. Right now. You could play for Oxford United. Yeah. I <laughs> genuinely, genuinely think that. But obviously with football, a lot of wisdom comes with the game like intelligence and stuff with age with age yeah you're not going to get that as like a nine-year-old no no no, no. <laughs> like and, and strength and speed and exactly they're all massive parts of it but will the game change the younger they go in the sense of what will you no longer need to require strength yeah. and speed no, no you'll always need that really you'll always need to be strong and quick will the to game play change football. though well okay <laughs> saying will the game change though? no but i mean like rodri busquets for example Strong as fuck. Yeah, but they are slow as fuck. Yeah, but they're strong. Terry, slow as fuck. When he got older, yeah. Yeah, but still... But Terry was strong as fuck. Yeah, Find exactly. me someone who's neither. Okay. Uh, and they're probably shit. <laughs> that's actually true. Yeah, if they're not of, strong, but they're, they're quick. quick. If they're not quick, yeah, then they're strong. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Because I'm quick-ish. Yeah. Uh, my yeah. acceleration's quick. I can't yeah. really... And then if you're both, then you're but I'm elite. so... Danny Aaron's editor literally just went... I forgot his name. Zach. Zach just absolutely pushed me off the ball with ease and I went <laughs> flying I was like fucking hell but if you're qu- if you're quick and strong then you're one of the best players I reckon 100% yeah and that's why uh, I would leave her uh, if she, she didn't want kids <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we you, are like you'd have to leave her yeah if you want kids yeah depends but, if she doesn't want kids as in doesn't want them herself or doesn't want to adopt oh what is she would you okay to? let's say then she she didn't want your kids she just wanted to adopt i don't know i don't think i'm ready to have that thought <sighs> i want my own kids if I possible a, oh i feel like i'm letting out a bit too much tea here this might be cut out you've already had a true but basically i had no, a massive wait, what? i was gonna i was no i know i agree with you I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I, I was trying say. to say what you were going to say. I didn't know what you were going to say, though. I basically had a massive argument with one of my ex-girlfriends. Oh, really? Ages ago. Because she was like, I want kids, but I also want to have like 50% adopt. And I was like, we're 19. Yeah. Why, why is this an argument? I was just like, it's not even a thought. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're so young. And she was like, look, if you don't want to adopt, we might as well just cut it now. And I'm like, really? I'm like, what? And then, yeah, that was a couple of months before. Did she want to adopt from, like, a third world Yeah, third world, world country. country yeah. yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I was just, like, that's not even a... I feel like men don't think about kids in general. Until they're Until older. you Until feel like... Yeah. <laughs> Until there's <laughs> a kid in front of you and you have to look after it. <laughs> I am worried that it's going to be, like... Have you seen those edits where it's, like, you're playing in the park mm. as, like, an 18-year-old playing football and then, like... You're on the couch with, with like the two kids. children. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. We're not far off. I, I know. I'm not joking. We're I not know. far you, off. You like, could have a kid in five years. You could have a kid in three years. You could have a kid in nine months. I think I'll have a kid before. Me. Yeah, probably. But before I'm 30, I think I'll probably have a kid. I mean, yeah, that's six years away, five years away. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not I don't that want, far. I don't want a kid super late. No, neither. neither. I but don't want to be the, like... The problem with me is I really don't think I'm going to find anyone. Uh, <laughs> and that's pick not, me, choose that, no, me. No, I swear to God, I said that to you the other day. Yeah. You've said it quite a few times. You're like, I just don't think I'll ever find anyone who it will be like... Do you know what it is though? love. Do you, know what I, do you know what it is? I feel like I'm so autistic <laughs> that it's never going to be reciprocated. <laughs> Reciplicated. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I feel like uh, the way that I'm so like, like I feel like I'm constantly available to just do anything that anyone says. <laughs> you okay? You're a prostitute. Well, no, You're a like prostitute. Like if you said to me, "Let's I'm go go, here," I'm going. Yeah, I'd be like, "Yes." Yeah. Uh, and it, I would because I just enjoy it, and I, I don't think anyone's gonna 
be the same with me. You don't think anyone will be, anyone will be like, let's just go and do this? I don't think, no, I don't think anyone will reciprocate my energy. <laughs> and I just... With I, regards to what? Just who I am. <laughs> okay, they don't need to be a one-to-one match of you. No, but that's what I want. All the best things, all the worst things in yourself. What? <laughs> you need to find shut up the all the worst things, things about yourself you need to be balanced it needs to be yeah, the best things yeah, in them exactly okay. yeah yeah well, that's what, what i'm trying well, to say well the worst thing about me is that i have a small willy so they need she to have a massive <laughs> fucking wiener a big ground pounder <laughs> but like if you're always late you need someone who's always on time you are the latest guy not anymore just realize we're wearing matching clothes again yeah well you're wearing a onesie <laughs> do you like my new Waterproof. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Luke here from the Outdoor Boys. <laughs> Talking of which, I spoke to Kinch the other day. Y- yeah, he messaged me. Yeah. Um, he, yeah. he messaged me saying, just been speaking to Lloyd. Like, he said that you're really keen. <laughs> we are. I have never heard about this. So I was like, thank that- you for speaking for me, Lord. I don't want to do anything with that. Guy. <laughs> no, joking, but joking. we have a friend, Kinch. Love him. Um, What's his TikTok? Oh, yeah, let's shout the TikTok out. Because I actually really enjoy it. He does. Uh, he's doing fifty day challenge, but he loves hiking, outdoors, walking, trekking, all of that stuff. So he posts bit videos about that. He posts picture reel, uh, picture carousel, shit like that. And he loves the outdoors. And he, I spoke to him about it, and I was like, "Love the videos." Da, da, da. They've got. He's doing pictures now. I preferred the videos, but he's doing pictures now. But I was like. He was like, yeah, I'm going to go on some like explorations this summer and go and camp outside and do some proper earthy shit. And I was like, fuck, we've spoken about that. Me and you. What? And we. I can't find his TikTok. Walking Tom? Oh, it might be Walking. Oh, Tom Outdoors. Tom Outdoors. Tom at, Outdoors. At Tom Outdoors, if you like hiking. and We've known him for, it's eight, coming up to like eight six, years Six, now. seven, eight years. Yeah. But well, I spoke to him and I was like, shit because we've been watching loads of the outdoor boys uh-huh. and me you and Gui were like yeah let's, let's do it let's like film a video hammocks whatever and he was like he's doing it so i was like yeah shit we'll just come with you and yeah. film loads of content we should uh go to the isle of white and do it yeah we can do it anywhere could do it anywhere that's so true we could do it in the fucking what's the island in the middle of the brown sea island yeah oh that's not a bad idea if you're allowed on i it, don't, I don't think you are actually because no. it's i think the whole thing is like a trust <coughs> national thing. trust but around that side of the island, like there's... I used to go to National Trust all the time. So I think I, I told you this. Yeah. My family were members. So we'd get every, like, once a month, we'd go to a random castle. Yes. Or like a random... What other things could you go to? Manor house. Yeah, just yeah. random shit. It was boring as fuck. Yeah, but looking back... I took it for granted. Yeah, I took it for granted as well. Because there's, there's one that's National Trust that's like so random. Like it's literally just a house Mm-mm. with like a beautiful garden. And back in the day, I'm like, fuck, you know, I just want to play Xbox. Yeah, exactly. But now I would actually love to do that with my grandparents. 100%. It'd be but so sweet. I remember just being a little shit all the time. Like, I, I just couldn't. I can imagine you and your sisters, like, just. My sisters were chill. Really? So much more chill See, than cause, I was. Because I can imagine your middle sister and you being, like, a little nuisance. Shit. Yeah. yeah. And your older sister being, being like. Yeah. That is normally what it guys, was. Guys, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember just pissing my dad off so much on one of these things. <laughs> And he just like started chasing me around the gardens, <laughs> <laughs> like around the fucking pleasure gardens of this castle. Because I was just like being a little shit. And he just like, fucking grabbed me by, like by my jumper. I was like, "Come on, you little shit!" <laughs> it was funny as fuck. Well, because I thought this the other day. Mm. Every time we go back home, I want to do stuff like that now with my grandparents. So I um I brought a year's membership at Blenheim Palace. Did you? Fork. It was so expensive. <laughs> 300 no it's like for, well for what you get now you said the word 300 i was like fuck it's 180 like, no it's like 50 quid but for what you, what get, you access get access to everything in the castle in the palace it's called you call it a castle every single time <laughs> it's called <laughs> blenheim palace <laughs> <laughs> that used to piss me off uh, but it, I said it on Christmas when I walked around the Christmas lights <laughs> and I was like where the fuck do you, you go in like, this castle you just go to the castle the thing is though it was expensive because I live here and I just there actually isn't that much like, I was going to say you've walked around it enough you already know where everything is yeah but I think but it's it's actually it was really really nice to go with my grandparents mm. every week and it 
it lit the child in me. Yeah, it's the stuff they cherish as well. I went round the maze on my own. Did you? I ran round the maze on my own because <laughs> and on my I I straddled the walk and round the maze. I took a screenshot <laughs> so I knew which way to go. And I I've done it so many times that I'd know it from memory as mm. a, as a kid. I thought that was a. Uh, the Blenheim Lights walk is unreal. Yeah. It's so That's, That is the way. You, that you, with a pass, you can go that route. Obviously, the lights aren't there, but... Do you remember when we went down there and took pictures of the waterfall for our travel accounts? That was hilarious. <laughs> Do we, we Have we spoke in detail about... The travel accounts? Yeah. I don't think I said so, it, not in I, detail. I said it on live the other day, and people were so confused. You said what? Because I said that we went from... We wanted to be YouTubers, but we had no idea what we were filming. Like, every video was, like, different. The genre was different. What, when, yeah, when we were 16. When we were 16. And then you went to uni. Yeah. And then halfway through uni, we got obsessed with like Jay Alvarez. Yeah, Sam Calder. Sam Calder, Jay Alvarez. That's still the best YouTube video ever produced. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Tim. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, yeah, like, let's, let's, let's make it. Let's make travel Instagrams. Uh, no, I made mine. Yeah, way before uh, Yeah, way before Way mine. before. I started cooking with mine, fucking following and unfollowing people and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and we used to do the same thing as well. But the problem was we never went away. No. We never I, <laughs> I found a story archive. Uh, so basically, the accounts we have now on Instagram <laughs> used to be our travel accounts. So all my archive posts and stories are just like from when it was a travel account and it was beautiful i'm not gonna lie yeah the, the pictures we did take when we went away were, were unreal were really nice but it was just like we were posting the same holiday for six months because <laughs> we just wouldn't go anywhere in the winter but we didn't even like uh go like up the road to to see like a nice Lake place District Lake or Dist- anything. like anything like just, in wales there's loads of waterfalls yeah the we same content we were just like, yeah, a flight to Spain to like a hotel, like not even exploring. Like you'd li- we'd literally just go to the, the beach. same vicinity. <laughs> but I uploaded a story when I was in second year of uni. I was still doing it in second year of uni, I think. And it was like, uh, I used to put stories up as if the followers actually cared. When they were all just people that you've unfollowed followed and, and followed, followed and hashtags and stuff. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, um, trying to go away more this winter and then i listed nine destinations and i was like gonna try and go to all of these like three days three or four days in each place i went to zero i'm not joking i had no money i was at uni i went to zero it was like oslo <laughs> copenhagen <laughs> brazil Bahamas. it was like the weirdest places wait let me get it up wait i'll try and find it because it that re- that's reminded me do you remember i put up a caption for one of my pictures that was exactly like why did it look like you got a st- <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Just thinking about travel. <laughs> One of my pictures. Do you remember I did the caption literally like Jay Alvarez? The island vibes or something like that. What was it? Where is it? This <laughs> oh, I've changed it. How do I change the? How do I check for the old ones? Because it was literally like uh... <laughs> you commented. <laughs> caption gave me AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> the caption was like um it was like i was like what can't a- wait to come back to these islands yeah it was like, the, like what a vibe these islands are man <laughs> can't wait to explore these islands more <laughs> <laughs> one mile of it a year we fucking <laughs> going for ages trying to explore it oh my days we've never even go i did it in greece but when we've gone i've never we've never even gone to like a water park or anything no we never get a taxi away we no. just chill I we did we not get last two we ha- we have done a lot of walking. Oh, the the one in Caligaldana, so the one two years ago in twenty twenty two, the the walk was so long, but I think the reward was worth it because it was so beautiful. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The really really clear one where the kids were jumping a hundred foot fucking <laughs> mountains. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. And this one, this is my first post on Instagram. The caption, oh, I'm going to have to change this caption. The first post on Instagram, my caption is Barcelona, dot, dot, dot. I need to see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That is so bad. Oh my oh God. my God. That is so bad. Wait, let me, me. Let me try and find him. I, I put out a video and the caption is, Quick one in Barcelona with a love heart and a, 
<laughs> that emoji. Quick one in Barcelona. <laughs> like I'm just stopping by. Quick just one. Check in with the people. <laughs> Wait, I use that emoji on the story I've yeah. literally just found, but this isn't a travel. This says, anyone debating starting the gym or too scared to start, I promise you, do some research about nutrition and which exercises to do to achieve what you want and then just go for it. It will improve your lifestyle no end and will do wonders for anyone who has ever had to battle with mental health and thought pro- and your thought process when tackling things that come up in your life. I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but it's a journey you've got to be dedicated to. <laughs> You put that on your story. Please put that on your story now. No. Please put that on your story. December 2019. Holy shit. Oh. Oh my God. We used to do, we used to do, uh, we used to vlog and then in between the vlog is like a, a cut scene. Yeah, tra- tra- cinematic. Cinematic, says it. Cue the cinematic. I put that on as well. New Netflix series. Oh my God, the state of me there. My shoes are huge. Wait, I need to find this. I- I'm reading this caption that I did for your birthday in 2019. Yeah. Oh God. It's like all of it's true, but like, it's just so cringe. Like, why would I do this? I found the story. Happy what birthday, is- Brody. I can't, <laughs> I, can't, I can't read the rest of it. Love you, brother. No. Without you, I'd be Thank nowhere. you so much for always being there for me. Always motivating me, always making me laugh, and always telling me how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can ask That's for a better best friend. So good. Love you, family. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I can't <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> look, I put uh, before. Oh, I remember. After. Yeah. All edits I do in Lightroom Classics, if anyone would care. I said, do you prefer watching travel videos on Instagram or YouTube? 50-50. Was, are said, we the two people to vote? Yeah. <laughs> and then said, oh God, oh God. And then put, <laughs> this is so bad. I put a story up of Arenalda and Castel. We've never been there. It's just a picture of a nice place. I put, <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, trying to finish no <laughs> trying to finish the summer back in the Mediterranean hopefully Mallorca this time no Menorca this time with the fucking mind blown emoji <laughs> trying to finish the summer back in the Mediterranean <laughs> who did um, we think we were and the next story also planning on doing some very short three-day getaways quite frequently, depending heavily on university this year. Berlin, Rome, <laughs> Stockholm, Budapest, <laughs> Valencia, Paris, Amsterdam, Brussels, Copenhagen, Milan. <laughs> Going on a world tour. <laughs> we'll fucking hopefully tick some of these off list with this winter. <laughs> that is so fucking Went to bad. none of them. Literally none. And then I put my absolute dream place, Bora Bora. <laughs> I've just found a, a cr- more cringe story. Really? So I put, ask me questions with this picture. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> ask me questions. <laughs> and then one of them said, where did you... <laughs> did you ask yourself this? <laughs> <laughs> one of them... <laughs> someone said, someone... <laughs> Where do you want to be in five years' time? <laughs> that was you. And me being all mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally? Here. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Oh shit. Oh That's my. so good. This is a cinematic story I did back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Westgate. <laughs> Just the entrance. The door of Westgate. <laughs> My top three films of all time. Oh dear. At, in 20... No, I, I can tell you what they were. You know one of them. Baywatch. Baywatch. After I said, Christmas. I know it's not that good, but something about it makes me watch it quite often. Yeah, seeing Oiled Up The man. other two... <laughs> <laughs> Zach Efron was fucking jacked for that film, to be fair. The other two, you won't get, but you'll be like, oh, okay. Like, like they're, they're Shawshank decent. Redemption. No, no. No. One of them's just like about a car. Like there's lots of cars. Fast and Furious. No, 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 no. no. Better film than that. Cars. No, 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 better film than that. Music is, is... Back to the Future? No, no, There's the music is really important and like it's about a driver. Baby driver. Yeah. Oh my God. And then the last one is about an American who was in the war. Hacksaw Ridge? No, American Sniper. 
<laughs> Three best films. And Clint Eastwood. I don't know shit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Not man. a question, but I love your feed. You love your feet? Feed. Oh, feed. That's a thing you <laughs> you really asked like. yourself that. I, no, I didn't. I did a watch brand deal as well. <gasps> I think remember I got, that? I think I got the video of you where I'm like, my boy's just got his first brand deal. <laughs> Holy shit. And, I, and then you went to the park, the basketball court. And took a picture with a fedora. Bro. No, I don't care. It was class. Bro. <laughs> we look so oh, different. Geez. And we used to just do loads of polls. Holy shit. Don't know why I put that up. It just says one day Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. Did, was it at this point that all your uni mates and school friends were following your this no, Instagram? No, I didn't follow anyone I knew. Apart from like you. And Gui. I literally didn't follow anyone. That's just too funny. We used to... Oh, I actually really did want to do it though. What? Like travel... How yeah. do people blow up? Like Jay was great and very early to the game. Yeah. And obviously him and Alexis were like everyone's like it couple or whatever. Yeah. So that makes sense that he grew a following from that. But people who do travel Instagram, how do they get their following? Like how do people care about them? <laughs> Honestly, I think it was different now than back then. I think like Jay was so early to the game. So early, he, he was, was the Tumblr. F- he was he wasn't on Instagram. He was a Tumblr kid. He is the first. Yeah, travel kid. Yeah, and he lived in Hawaii, so it was like everywhere he went was beautiful. Yeah. Whereas we lived the furthest place away from the sea <laughs> in, in the England. UK. Yeah, literally the furthest from any sea in the, in England. Uh, I'm just trying to like these stories, like just a picture of Rufus at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> with that heart eye emoji oh my god I don't know I, again though like you've got to try these things if, if you're, yeah. we were so passionate about it I'd spend I'm not joking so long I never editing. used to watch films now I watch films all the time TV all the time like mm. I love it. it I literally used to watch maybe two to three hours a day yeah every night of just travel videos mm-hmm. like literally that's all it was it was just music and people in yeah. like i'd just find new ones they'd be skiing they'd be on the beach they'd be somewhere hot somewhere i've never been and i would just watch and love the beat drops yeah. and the editing and i'd study how to film and the thing is a part of me still is like i would i would do it we could still do it i think we could do it yeah we could make our feed way more nicer than it is yeah we definitely it's should just post us yeah. should we do should we actually start doing it should we go should fucking we berlin <laughs> should we just start speaking like that no I, I actually reckon we should do more things that are like instead of go somewhere for a week go to a couple places for two three days yeah like milan you could do milan in two days yeah for the pictures. For the pictures, yeah. All you need to do is a picture of you in front of the cas- the casino? The cathedral <laughs> gun. And the San Siro. Yeah, that's it. And then that spa as well. And just be like, just just, just a quick stop in Milan. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't even post any ski pictures on Insta. Oh, yeah, you Like, didn't. we went skiing in March and I just, I just don't post. You I don't, don't take, know why. You don't take many pictures. No, I don't. You really don't. My camera roll is that, like... That was the, the thing that I found the funniest because... We would spend so much time researching about travel, cameras, where to go, places. We never took pictures. No, never. Never. I, I did see an old person, maybe like 40 years old, 38 or something. So he's not even old. Yeah. He was like, honestly, it's so cringe, but whenever you can, take pictures of you and your mates. Oh, 100%. He was like, you never know he when. He was like, trust me. He was like, I've lost two friends recently. Yeah. And he was like, and I just have no pictures of them. No. And he said he feels like he f- is forgetting his, their face. Really? And I was like, oh, that's so See, we hardly take any pictures every, anywhere. But no. we, at least we have like a backlog of yeah. a million videos. Yeah, like we actually here, do. That we oh. could watch. But I'm, I'm just, we should, we should do it. We should try it. We should go to the beach when, in this summer. Let, no, let's just go away soon okay. for three days. Let's do it. Somewhere warm. Yep. Like, let's just go to Portugal for three days and it's just see what warm. it's like it's in like warm. March. It's, it's, yeah, okay. It'll be it'll be like 18, 20. It won't be 30, but when it's like 35, we struggle anyway. Are we just doing this for Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> no. It, to improve our food. <clears throat> no, no, no. It's fun. We should take this set up and do podcasts abroad. The whole setup? Well, because all we need is the mics we can hold. Yeah, mics the cameras, we can hold. And your, your laptop yeah. and the focus right and all that. Don't really need the headphones. No. I can see it here. Yeah, I just wear the headphones. I don't know why I still wear them. I just find it easier to... 
in case anything goes wrong. It just the headphones made my head look absolutely huge. Yeah, well, I've got a hat and headphones <laughs> on now, so. No, you look good, Pookie. Thank you. <laughs> Talking of flying. Yep. As a flight attendant, every single time we fly, we would pick out a bob. A bob. Best on board. Valid. <laughs> we will always pick. We will always fight over the bob and have an ex. <laughs> <laughs> and have an excuse to talk to Bob. Yeah. One day I was flying from Gatwick to LAX. Damn. And I had spotted the fittest Bob <laughs> I have ever seen on any flight. Let's go, Bob. All the flight attendants were going feral over him. Feral. Feral. It was like seeing your airport crush, but you're actually getting on the plane with him. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> And he was in first class too. Oh, he Ooh. had money. <laughs> <laughs> I was flirting with Bob nonstop and it was being reciprocated. <laughs> Good effort. That'll do. <laughs> Three, four hours into the flight, we experienced heavy turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Carry on. Bob's mood changed. He also smelled terrible. Oh no. He got my attention and said to me, So, (laughs) excuse me, miss, do you have any spare boxes as I've shit myself? (laughs) (laughs) We we had to walk him down the aisle, smelling of shit. He had to have a shower and then he had to wear BA clothes until we landed. (laughs) They got a new member of staff. (laughs) I have never been on a more awkward, uncomfortable flight. He went from Bob to Wob. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. He must have been so scared to shit himself. And flight attendants are traditionally... What? Sex. The plane might have had so much turbulence it literally forced (laughs) it out of him. (laughs) (laughs) Just elevates a bit. (laughs) Oh my God. That's so embarrassing for Bob. Bob... I guess this wouldn't have happened if you had some psychological tips. So I'm going to share with you dark psychological tips to seem more attractive. Okay, let's go. It is said the more curious and the more they don't know about you, the more attractive you are. Yeah, that's because once everyone opens their mouth, they just... (laughs) (laughs) Well, as an oversharer, I would literally, on the first date, Talk about like my moshy monster in 2008. <laughs> I would talk about anything. Your Tamagotchi. <laughs> Your political beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> this one is really easy. Yeah. Do everything in your path to make them feel attractive. Do everything in your path to make them feel attractive. Mm-hmm. Like what? So people will be much more attracted to you if they are confident feeling attractive themselves. Okay. So what do I have to do? I don't know, but you're looking very good today. (laughs) (laughs) So just compliment them. Yeah. Yeah. Buy them flowers. Yeah, and and the more you compliment them, that's why it's so easy to do. But also be mysterious at the same time. You look great sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) Number three is do the opposite. What, of point one and two? Yes. So no, overshare no, no, and don't no, compliment. No, just a point two. Okay, so make them desperate for your validation and your compliments. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> so um, you're going to express what you find attractive about other women. And it works for men. Are you asking to be punched in the face? No, but, I, no, but do this in person. Over text, it might give the wrong uh, opinion. But if you do this in person, it shows one, you can be really respectful about other women yeah two it brings a light-hearted element of competition in the relationship okay okay light-hearted yeah and three it shows that you're not needy and that your attention is hyper-focused on her women don't like that women don't want you to be needy or hyper-focused on them Mm -hmm. really yeah they want to feel like they have to compete yeah is that true so true every woman says guys i mean girls (laughs) Is this true? Yeah, every woman always says like, oh, the, when the guy is too nice, it's just like when he needs me constantly, it's like, oh. Yeah, I suppose that it's I a think, bad sign if no one is hitting on your partner. Uh, I don't think that's what that question was. But 
Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Rhyme time. The person is Taylor Swift. Taylor's now in Fast and Furious. Taylor Drift. Ooh. I'm giving you a hint. Do you catch my Taylor Drift? You just did drift the same as me. Two different things. <laughs> <laughs> Am I out already? <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I'll let you in. No, I'll no, no. You in. I'll, 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 I'll let you in. I'll let you in. Two different drifts. Just bought Taylor a present. Here's Taylor's gift. Oh, that's a good one. I went secondhand shopping. Taylor thrift. Yeah, I like that one. <sighs> Taylor's going up to the top floor. Taylor lift. I was just about to do that. Taylor smells something. Because Taylor sniffed. Mm, okay. <laughs> Taylor's in a really bad mood with me. Taylor's miffed. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> is that even a word? I guess it is. Miffed, miffed yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in sync. <laughs> so, okay. Taylor can't see in front of her because of the Taylor mist. No. Miffed. Oh, come Swift. on. Missed. Miffed. Missed. I don't know about if that one. If you're getting miffed, I'm getting missed. That's changing it to a completely different word, Taylor though. Taylor Swift. Taylor missed. Just because it ends in T doesn't mean it works. <laughs> okay, I'll let you have it for now. <laughs> Taylor's just gone and collected a naughty substance. Taylor's piffed. Ooh. <laughs> don't even know if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm having a rough time. I might jump off this Taylor cliff. That's not... <laughs> Cliff and Swift. <laughs> Swift. Swift. I'm taking that one. Fuck it out. Guys, he's fucking bending the rules. Um, Orange. Door hinge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Taylor tried to pronounce NFT as a word. Taylor niffed. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's niffed. so creative. Taylor niffed. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Taylor's trying to pick up some more work. Taylor needs an extra shift. Yeah, yeah. No, that works. Kind of, yeah. No, that's good. Um, Taylor was flicking through loads of documents. Taylor sift. What? You sift through things. Oh my God. Exactly. That is getting lucky. No, yours is you. We're letting you have your fucking cliff. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I just ran a marathon. Now I'm feeling Taylor stiff. Taylor's just been cast as the bad guy in Back to the Future. Taylor's Biff. <laughs> that is a good one. That is a good one. Do you smell that? What? Because it was Taylor that whiffed. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's carrying around a little purple globe on Fortnite. That's Taylor's Rift. <laughs> 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 wow Taylor was the bad guy in Back to the Future Taylor Griff <laughs> Taylor's just slicked it back That's Taylor's quiff <laughs> <laughs> Okay Taylor couldn't hit the target Taylor missed yeah, I guess. I have said we missed. not done that one? Oh, have you done missed already? No, I think you did missed. I, I did missed. Like M-I-S-T. Yeah, and I did M-I-S-S-E-D. I'm just going to say I won that. <laughs> Your ones at the start were questionable. Is this green flag green enough to forget about the red flag? Let's go. Is 88% covered in tattoos? Yep. So you got a teardrop as well? Yep. But sends you outfit checks every morning? Well, I have no issue with tattoos. 88% covered. Yeah, I don't want... I don't like that many tier. tattoos. With I don't give a fuck about outfit pics. <laughs> what? They're the best thing to receive every morning. That's like the best green flag. An outfit pic. I'd rather... Yeah, when they're going somewhere, 100%, yeah. But not just like pyjamas or whatever. Yeah, I'd rather just like a face pic. That's <laughs> what you're saying. Too red because I don't want that many tattoos. Ooh. I like tattoos, just not that many. Her Snapchat username is local freak. Ah, with a with a snap score of over two mil but she cooks you steak and makes you dessert every day every day I'll get gout <laughs> that's too red local freak straight away I'm walking away what do you mean just have your normal name unless that is her birth name but I don't know <laughs> local freak come here local <laughs> just going down the local 
<laughs> okay. She goes on lads' nights out. I'm talking 11 lads, and she's the only woman. Yeah. But is your mum's new best friend, and they cook together, they go shopping together, they go to the cafe together. I have no problem with a woman hanging out with men. Nights out. But like I can... All of them. She's one of the lads. <laughs> like, she is... Nothing wrong with that, but I can find someone who would be best friends with my mum who doesn't go out with a full <laughs> football team. <laughs> I'd say red because I can find someone. I, uh, I'll find someone who's best friends with my mum. You're taking away your mum's best friend, bestest yeah. friend. Sorry, mum. <laughs> she wants to film everything you do, but she pays for everything you do. So she's filming intimate relations and me just brushing your teeth in the on bar. the toilet, but she'll pay for me to go out. Yeah. <laughs> She's your sugar mummy. Yeah. I'm not having my life documented <laughs> <laughs> to be paid for. I'm basically like a fucking servant. That's not a bad idea. Document your entire life. But then she posts it every year. <sighs> Too red. <laughs> I don't want to be filmed everything I do. Red, 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 red. Cute or cringy? Let's go. When you're flirting and they say, sharp, you love it. Cute. Yeah, that's cute. I think that's cute. Oh, shut up. You love it when I do this. Ooh. Unless you're in like an absolute mood and they say it, then you're like, no, I actually don't. Like, you're really annoying me right now. <laughs> but no, I think that's cute. Oh, shut Like when you say like... When you're teasing them and they're like, oh, stop doing that. Yeah, like tickling. Shut when up. Yeah. Love shut up. You, you love it. Calling your girlfriend the missus. Bit degrading, I think. No. The missus. That's not degrading at all. No? I think, they lo- I think that is adorable. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'd say... I don't feel cute if I ever do it. I don't go, the missus. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't say it's cringy to say the missus, no. <laughs> I think it's nice. Yeah, sure, sure. Go uh, cute, I guess. Okay. Good girl. L- wait, let me say it in like a pooky voice. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say <laughs> has to be done correctly. Yeah. Whereas it can, that's that can veer on the side of cringe. If you do it too early with someone you don't yeah. really know like that, if you do it at the wrong time, mm-hmm. it can't just be like, it depends how much they like you as well. If they hand you something in the middle of the day and you go, good girl. <laughs> don't ever do that. <laughs> the tongue flick. The tongue flick is all made De- out with. Depends how, how much they like you and how much they know you and obviously stuff like that. If, it, if, it, if your fourth message is like, do you want to go out on a date? And they say, yeah. And you go, good girl. They'll be like, what the fuck? That's cringy as hell. But, Overall cute. Cute? No, I'd say more people get it wrong than right, so I'd say cringy, but... I reckon it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd say most people get it wrong. Yeah, so. mo- most people. And it's like when girls, British girls say daddy. Oh, God. It just sounds wrong. Daddy. Oh, daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> I want another chocolate, daddy. <laughs> This is something that I do. Okay. And someone told me it's weird. Yeah. But I like sometimes I call them pup. <laughs> pup? Yeah. Do you pat them on the head as well? No, I'll just- Hose them down. I'll be like, cheers, pup. Grow up. Pup. I've, it's out my vocab now. Pup. I'd be like, yeah, pup. Because pups are so cute. Like never come puppy. to my brain to say pup. Will never come to my brain. Pup, like a puppy, like super cute. I know what a pup is. You're not defending yourself very well. I would never go, oh, pup. And then, and then what? To put a leash on him, take him for a walk. <laughs> what you did? No, I, I did say that to a girl. And then she was like, why are you calling me a dog? Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, no, I guess you're right. <laughs> pup. But I'd just be like, oh, cat. pup. Oh, cat. <laughs> ah, horse. Come on. <laughs> what do you want to comment? Black hat. Black hat. Yes, sir. Comment black hat. Like on YouTube is essential. We need a like on YouTube. Comment. Subscribe, notifications on, follow us on Instagram, Lloyd Butcher, Matt Mosey, Lloyd and Matt. No, Matt Mosey underscore, sorry. Mm-hmm. Follow us on TikTok, follow us on Snapchat, 5,000 Spotify, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And we'll see you in episode 46. Ooh, getting closer. The countdown to 50 begins. Bye. Ciao, ciao.